Thank you for watching the fourth video in our Wing Express How To series. In our previous videos, we've shown you how to do a basic configuration to get your AP set up, how to upgrade your firmware, and how to set up a captive portal for guest access. In today's video, we'll show you how to create the tech support file. Hopefully, you'll never need this, but in the event you have to call the help desk, this file could prove to be very helpful and save you a good amount of time. The tech support file provides a snapshot of how the AP is configured and the settings. This allows the help desk personnel to diagnose any problems quicker and more efficiently. Assisting us today is my colleague and good friend, Sonny Lee. Take it away, Sonny. Thanks, Dwayne, and thanks everyone for tuning in to our latest instructional video. Today's video is on the process for capturing the tech support dump file on a Zebra Wing Express access point. If you're ever in a troubleshooting situation with the Zebra Help Desk, they may ask you to send them a copy of this file. As you can see, we've laid out five easy steps to access this file. The first step is locating the copy tech support function in the menu of your Wing Express access point. So from the dashboard on your Wing Express access point, we're going to find the access point menu on the left-hand side of the screen and click on it. From the access point menu, we're going to checkbox all of the access points that we want to get the tech support file from. From the screen, you could have multiple access points attached to this access point. From the tools menu, once we check this box, the tools menu will become active. From the tools menu, we're going to select tech support. This will open up the copy tech support menu item. And from here, we're going to select our method of transfer. If you've been following our series, we showed you how to set up a TFTP server for file transfer. And so we're going to use that same file transfer method to transfer the tech support file. So we're going to click on TFTP, which if you recall is the method we used for transferring the firmware file for a upgrade. Now that we've selected our transfer file method, we're going to pull up our TFTP server. We're going to select the directory where we want the, copy, the file to be copied to. In this case, I just want the file to go to the root of my C drive and into a TFTP folder to make it easy to find. But you could have that file uh, be wherever you'd like. And then the next item we need to do is select the server interface, the actual address where the file is going to be transferred from. And from here we're going to be using our Ethernet interface. Your PC uh, may differ, but you can select the interface that you want to communicate on. Now that we've got our TFTP ser server set up, we're going to type the same server interface for our TFTP server into our copy tech support file, which in this case is 192 .168.0.104. And now we're just going to simply, in the lower right hand corner, click on the copy button. If we pull up our TFTP server, we can see the file is being pushed from the access point down into our directory which is the C slash TFTP folder. Once the file is done copying, we can pull up our express, uh, I'm sorry, our uh, file structure and find our folder and you can see our tech support dump file is located 
right where we want it to go. So from here, you could copy this file and email it to your Zebra Help Desk representative, and they could help better assist you in troubleshooting any issues you may be dealing with. Thanks for tuning into our latest video. We hope to see you on more videos in the future. Thank <laughs> you.